So it's looking like I'm going to have to do the instrument approach into Leadville, Lake County Airport, because it's uh, not overcast, but it's definitely at least broken. The uh, weather report from Leadville is saying overcast at 5,000, broken at 3,500. Now the trouble with that is the airport is 9,934 feet. As you can see from this, Number eight, nine, or tangle. Thanks, the Dude. initial leg is flown at 14,000 feet. Number eight, nine, or tangle, Roger. And right here is a 14,000 foot peak. And this approach is dog legged twice to take you through this pass called the Tennessee Pass. And the uh, airport would be down there. So what you do is, as you fly down the pass in the clouds, you started at 14,000, coming out at 13,000. and so forth and so on, and hopefully somewhere near you see the runway. Now, if they're right on on the ceiling, that should be no problem. The problem, as I see it, is at this part here. Because I'm coming from here. So it depends how the controller takes me in. If he can vector me around this way, I won't have anything to worry about, but still, it's a little spooky to be two or three miles from a peak that's taller than you are. Yeah, that's pretty solid there up ahead now. So now he's got me going direct Davy. Let's see. Direct Davy on a, that means a heading of Fifty two degrees, so I guess he's going to keep me at this altitude for a while to clear that peak. Now, the they did update the weather there. It's a little bit better. Scattered 4,200, broken 5,000, which means I'll probably break out and see the runway somewhere... somewhere around here which on the other, on the plane view would be around in here, that would be good that would be a lot less agonizing than have to, having to thread my way through this on, um, you know, in the clouds although looking out there it still looks the same now I still am uh, almost 30 miles away so I suppose it could change there's a big hole coming up there. But I'm not about to dive down through a hole with those mountain peaks around. So I'm just going to stick with the instrument approach and hope for the best. Now you can see here, as we go by this hole, how those clouds are really close to the mountaintops. So that's why I'm going to stick with the instrument approach and not try to uh, scud run it, which would be dangerous. There's another hole up here to look down. I'll put down the camera after this, but now he's got me going into the clouds to 16,000 till Dabby to start the approach. This is the approach. Very hairy, I don't mind telling you. Number 555, Bravo, Papa, take the advisory frequency of first port cancellation uh, with me above 100,000, otherwise on the ground through radio. By BP. Runway should be in front of me somewhere, I don't see it yet. There it is, way off in the distance there, little tiny black strip. I can can't see the approach and come down now. So this is final into here. Look at these mountains around this place. There's the runway. Mountains streaming by on both sides. This is totally cool, I have to admit. Scary, but cool. So now I'm taxiing back. I want to tell you that uh, the amount of leaning necessary was incredible. I really had difficulty. I didn't know what to do with the engine uh, there. First of all, we touched down real hot. 
probably because um, I was just, you know, I had a certain fear level. But uh, then the, I, I was getting, like, no power. This is how far back I have to have it leaned. I mean, I thought it was going to be about here. That's what it was at the other airports that were, like, 7,000 feet. But as soon as I push this forward, the engine first revs and then dies. Now I've taxed it up to the pumps and I've discovered I have to have the mixture all the way back here. As soon as I push it forward, the engine dies. This is incredible. I never thought it would be anything like that. Here it is, Leadville, Colorado, Lake County Airport. These are the mountains. That's the runway at the bottom. I almost killed the engine. Uh, rolling out because I didn't realize how extreme I had to lean. You can see the mountains are in the clouds. Up that way is the approach it, down a pass. Mountains towering on either side. I was wearing sandals when I got here. Fortunately I had my shoes and socks close by because it is, well you can see it's completely winter. Look at those mountains. I just finished fueling the plane. No other airplanes here. Fuel truck, plow, few cars. That's it. That's all she wrote. As you can see, I'm getting beat up pretty good here. Climbing out of Leadville. This isn't the kind of flying you do unless you're totally prepared for it. Totally prepared. In fact, there's some clouds up there. Five Bravo, pop, safe position and altitude. And a five Bravo pop. 